First, the safety test gets delayed for almost nine hours, so the reactor is just sitting there in that unstable half-power state for way too long. When they finally get the green light, it's the middle of the night and a new, less experienced crew has taken over. They're under a ton of pressure to get this test done. Then, the power level suddenly crashes. This happens because of something called xenon poisoning. Basically, a byproduct of the fission process builds up and starts absorbing neutrons, stalling the reactor. To fight this and get the power back up, the operators make a terrible decision, one that broke all the rules. They pulled out almost every single control rod, leaving the reactor with practically no breaks at all. So let's just pause here and take stock of the situation. Right before the explosion, this reactor was in the most dangerous condition you could possibly imagine. It was running at a dangerously low power level where its physics were known to be unstable. Its automatic safety systems had been turned off for the test, and its brakes, the control rods, had been almost completely removed from the core. It was a loaded weapon with the safety off, just waiting for a trigger. The stage was set, the physics of the machine, the human errors 